Hello and welcome to the seventh in our series, Key Skills, Piecing It Together. Today I'll be looking at the piece Sweet Dreams by Tchaikovsky. It's a glorious piece and one I use all the time when I'm teaching because students learn so much from it. It's a lot of work, I have to admit, but the rewards are great. And I love pieces like that where students get more out than they put in. So we need to learn in this piece how to sing the right hand, compose the words cantable, which means you must sing the notes. We also need to learn how to connect the bass notes with good fingering. And then adding to that in the left hand, we need to learn how to connect the bass notes, but at the same time, play lightly in the chords. And on top of all that, we need to connect the harmonies together with the pedal. So in this video, I'm going to focus just on how to connect the bass notes and to keep the left hand chords quiet. So the first step is to make sure you've got good fingering for the lowest notes that you're going to play, the bass notes. And you're going to have to pass your fourth finger over your fifth finger in order to achieve a lovely smooth bass line. And continuing on. So as much as possible, connect the, those notes with your fingers before we add pad before we do anything else and then very very slowly add the chords you might first want to learn the chords on, on their own but always use the same fingering that you will uh, be using eventually when everything comes together so always ensure that you release the chords before you play the next new bass note so, let go of the chord, let go of the chord, let go of the chord. So each time I'm letting go of the chord before I go on and join the next bass note. It can be helpful to practice the chord staccato, particularly in the early stages when you're first uh, working on this left hand, uh, joining bass and chords together. But eventually you want to get rid of that staccato touch and to just lightly detach the chords. bass line should sound louder than the chords. Later the right hand has to do this joining and simultaneously playing the chords. Uh, from bar 22 we get this. So now we have to sustain and connect those top notes as much as possible while lightly detaching the chords. And again the same principle applies. Don't play the next melody note until you've released the previous chord. So very slowly. Play the melody note, let go of the chord, now I can play the melody note. Let go of the chord, now I can play the next melody note. So in other words, not this, this is a common error. So don't seesaw between the melody and the accompaniment. We must, as much as possible, sustain the melody. be possible to connect all the melody notes or all the bass notes. There are some places like in bar 22 where you'll have to release early. So I have to let go here but now I can connect all the top line. Also be careful that you don't overhold so don't be holding more than one note at a time in the melody. So listen very carefully. Listen for pure joins but also for no gaps in the bass line or the melody line. 